could have been bulged from the LA Times. Hey, Carl, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, we were talking to Ottawa yesterday. He was telling us about uh, the up downs uh, that guys have to do uh, to start practice when they're not swarming to the ball uh, before. Uh, how much has that kind of contributed to the accountability on the team and just guys realizing that they got to put it all out on every play and, and, and really just leave everything on the field? Oh, uh, honestly, when we do those up downs, it's just really like, like you said, accountability. We, you know, as a team, we just, you know, try to run to the ball, you know, cause we all know when it might spit back to you, you know what I'm saying? So. The whole team, every everybody, as many people as we can get to the ball. That's what we do. When, when did that uh, up down uh, routine start? Was that this year? Or was that last year as well? Last year as well. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. know, who, was that Coach Az's idea or who came up with that? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, honestly, it was a defensive idea. You know, uh, it's not as well as a punishment, but it's a learning experience. You know, Los, if you if you're not running to the ball. You know, you count those up and you give it to you at practice. And, you know, we do up downs afterwards. So it's really accountability. Thank you. Yes, sir. Let's go to Mike Regalado from Bruno Park. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? First off, you have amazing hair. Uh, secondly, appreciate it. Uh, last season with COVID, it, it took a little bit of time to implement the defense. This year, you had a whole off season to get into it, and now you guys are executing, and we're seeing uh, what is coming from that. You know, it has has it been easier to adapt the defense and to execute uh, it, uh, when when it's needed in games? Uh, can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Just basically, like, how much easier has it been to take the the, the defense, uh, the, the schemes that the coaches have brought in? Uh, how much easier is it to implement this year than it was last year? That's a good question. Uh... Honestly, the game slowed down more than I like, you know, now that I know the plays and I know my assignments, uh, the games definitely slowed down like 10 times more than last year. So I'm able to read everything, you know, more comfortable of where I'm at. So it's been a big, big, big key for this year. Thank you. Yes. Saracusa from last word. Hey, Carl. So I want to follow up on Ben's question real quick. How many up downs have you been doing this season? See, I've been trying to keep mine down to a minimum. So I just been trying to fly to the ball. <laughs> All right, good. It's good to hear it. Now, you guys have been very aggressive defensively, especially the past couple of weeks where you've had quarterbacks who were throw first and run second. You know, neither team has had a big running game. That changes this week with Arizona State. And Jaden Daniels is a very mobile quarterback. What have you seen on the game film so far that, that you know, catches your attention on what he does? Uh, Jaden, he's definitely different uh, than the other quarterbacks that we played. But, you know, we just got to continue to do our scheme, do nothing different than what we were doing, just to continue to run to the ball, you know, and – we just got to make plays. So. All right, great. Thanks for your time. Go to Sam Conan from uh, SI. Hey, Carl, how's it going? Doing good. How are you? Doing well. So uh, yesterday when we were talking to Ottawa, he said uh, that, that you were you were a dog, and that, that he was really kind of kind of proud of how disruptive you were. How much pride do you take in kind of that aspect of your game, just being one of the most disruptive, hardworking guys out there? I mean, I just try to do it at practice, you know, uh, practice makes perfect. And, you know, luckily the plays came to me yes, uh, on Saturday and I just had to do my job. But no, it's, it's been, you know, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, I had a good game Saturday, but it's just all the hard work. So appreciate it. And then uh, following up on Tony's question about Jaden Daniels, you're on the outside there in that, that Bruin spot. How, how much uh weight is put on your shoulders when you're defending a mobile quarterback at your position honestly just go 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 you know he might want to you know run a lot so we just got to close our gaps you know do our assignments continue to do the schemes that are our plays with within so we just got to do our job and everything will be fine all right thanks carl of course thank you all right let's go back to ben for one more question here Talking to Quantrez after the game, he said that basically 
you and him challenge each other. It's like either one of you is going to make the play. How much, how much does that help when you guys are kind of like, you're not trying to one up each other, but you're trying to push each other to be your best. It honestly, it, it, it's, it's always amazing, you know, to play on the field with each and everybody. I know right before uh, Daytona made that big uh, sack, you know, right before we were on the sideline, we were saying, who's going to get the sack first? Who's going to get the sack first? So, you know, we have those little games that we play, you know, right before we hop out on the field because we know something's going to happen. Somebody got to make the big play, just a matter of who. So we keep that on our heads. Yep. Do you guys have any, I know some teams have like the turnover chain or any, do you guys have any awards that you give out within yourselves uh, on the team? No, nah, we just celebrate with each other, you know, just part of the game. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll wrap it up there with Carl. Thanks for your time, Carl. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. All right, we're now joined by defensive back Kenny Churchwell III. Kenny, we got you muted. There you go. Uh, we'll open it up to questions here with uh, Ben Bolch from the LA Times. Hey, Kenny, uh, welcome back uh, to UCLA. Uh, I know that um, you know you were away from the team last year. Can you can you talk about your decision to opt out and what it's been like to be back and and just everything that went into that and what it was like? Uh, how you doing, Ben Bolts? Uh, I'll say through the, the last couple of years uh, with the COVID going on, it was unprecedented. So I had to talk to my family and I feel like it was just a, a business decision when it comes to things that was going on. Like we never knew that COVID would ever spring. And it went from everyone was having a great day to now everybody's in the lockdown. So it's just talking to my family uh, and seeing the best decision for myself and being back is amazing. Like, I can't, I, it was just crazy of not just being into football. So just being back with my brothers and the coaches, they spread love. They welcome me back with open arms and I'm just happy to be here. How did you stay connected with the team uh, last season? How did I stay connected? Uh, calls, uh, Teeter, AKA Shea Pitts, he used to call me all the time, uh, Quentin Lake, always went over the playbook. And at the time I was a striker. So I got some calls with Shea Pitts, uh, Q, Q Knight, and just like regular calls, random calls, and just me seeing something and being proud of the team going through the, the course of the football season. And like going to Colorado, I called random people, being happy for them, just cheering them on because they was doing something compared to me just being at home. And then one last thing, what was it like to watch the games? <laughs> it was amazing. Like I can, actually be a fan but I was still stressed out so it's it was amazing to just seeing my teammates and just being there and just like let's go Carl let's go Q Knight good hit like it's just amazing like best time even though I was not able to play thank you thank you let's go to Mike Regalado from uh, Bruner Park hey Kenny how you doing how you doing Mike Good, thank you. Um, you know, I asked Carl a similar question, but it, it differs uh, for you. Uh, with the defense implementing a new scheme last year, you know, how are you adapting to the schemes and the coverages this year? And, and what are your thoughts on it being so aggressive? I was 100%. That's what I got to say is just like effort, fast. We play fast, we play strong, and just like we got to finish. So I'll just say, even if it's aggressive, it's not on me to play the call of whatever we call. It's, it's on the coaches. So we just got to believe, trust the process, and just have effort, effort, just run to the ball and just have fun and congratulating the teammates and players that's making the calls or making the plays. I mean, thank you, Mike. Let's go to Tony Saracusa from Last Word. Hey, what's up, Kenny? How you doing, Tom? All right, man. So listen, teams always say when someone gets hurt, next man up. That's that's everybody says it, but it's a lot easier said than done. You guys use you guys lose Q Lake. 
and you stepped right in. You had the interception, the Fresno State game. How easy was it for you to maintain that readiness throughout practice and be ready the minute you were called on? Uh, during practice, we have a lot of reps. Uh, and I'll say the process with me just going to third team, second team, first team, is just like we have enough reps for each of the team, like the safeties, to be able to participate into the game. So just like I was already ready, but at the same time, it's you never know when you're, you're going to be called, like you said, like the next man up. So it's just being ready, honing in to the calls, honing into the everyday plays and practicing one play at a time, one day at a time, and then your name get called and you just got to push through it and have fun and congratulate your brothers when you make the play or they make the play. Now, Chip had said earlier, not related to this specifically, that part of the reason, part of the advantage of having those two fields is because the roster is so big and he's still able to get everybody reps. Is that is that what you're talking about, still being able to get so much action during camp and during yeah. practice? Well, yes, sir. All right, great. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Tom. Go to Jared Tay from uh, The Daily Bro. Hi, Kenny. I hope you're doing well. Hey, Tay. Um, so Coach Kelly yesterday started his presser um, talking about Aaron Lowe and um, condolences to like the Utah football family and his family. He said he would talk um, to you all like as a squad about it yesterday. So I'm just wondering what, um, like, what you took away from that conversation and what your personal reflections have been, um, you know, on the tragedy over the weekend. Um, I tried to do, do go to the Utes. I have one of my best friends that went to Mount Plank, uh, Lacare Pleasant at the corner. So just being and hearing that in the first hand is just like extremely disappointing. And the, do the conversation is always emotional. Uh, we just stuck together, hugged it out and just loved each other because you don't know when, we don't know, like at the end of the day, tomorrow something might happen, today might happen. So it's just like loving one another, trusting one another to do good things and just being there for that person when something happens or being together. So we was just together and just my, my tragedy all come out to the youths and pray for them. Thanks, Kenny. Thanks, Dave. Let's go to Sam Conan from SI. Hey, Kenny, how's it going? Hey, Sam, how are you? Doing well. So uh, you talk about being ready to, to step up the past two games, uh, but uh, we saw Quentin was out there uh, warming up before the game, but but obviously you started in his place. Did he say anything to you uh, kind of between those the warm-ups and kickoff that kind of got you in the, in the right mindset in your start? Uh, I'll say he said something every single day because in the, in a the game, in a every like little thing matters. So it's all the simple things, the little things. So he's just like, hey, watch this, hey, watch this. And just like having a guy named like Quentin Lake and just like being that guy helped me a lot. So just seeing an extra vision or extra view, like I see this and then he'll come to me and he's like, what did you see? I seen this, but just like small little things till Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And just like me coming to him, like, why did you call this? So. It was not just on game day. It was throughout the whole whole day, every day. And, and then you were talking about last year, how you kind of had the opportunity to, to watch as a fan and cheer guys on. But there, there were a lot, of, a, a lot of freshmen and transfers from last year. When you kind of came back to the team this year, was it kind of weird knowing that you knew them just as much as a fan as you, as you did a teammate? Was that a weird dynamic when you got back? Mm -hmm. No, it's not weird at all. It's just, I just like, hey, like, congratulations on being a Bruin. And I welcome with open arms that he did. No worries. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. Thanks, Tim. All right, let's go back to Ben for one more question. Hey, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. You, you also had an ACL injury in training camp a couple of years ago. Is that right? Yes, sir, 2018. So, uh, you know, not only sat out last year, but you had that big injury uh, to, and to, to go from all of that to now, how much do you treasure just kind of every moment you're out on the field? Like, just so much. It's coming from like a small town and 
don't know like what's, what's the next big thing to now being at the number one public university was just a big thing, an eye opener. Even in 2019, I believe, like when I played my first game, started for Colorado, it's just like going into that place and just looking around like I'm actually here, playing here is just like being truly blessed and happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I think we'll wrap it up there. Thanks for your time, Kenny. Thank you.